Hello, Alex with Lunker City. Going to be showing you how to properly rig a bait on a jig head. So we're going to start off with a four inch finesse fish, which should be a good example to use because you can see how thin the bait is. Uh, so it can be kind of hard to rig this straight. Uh, and then we're going to be just using for the video a uh, finesse pro painted jig head in a quarter ounce. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut off the tip uh, of the bait just so that it'll sit nice and flush on the jig head. So I'm going to cut out, cut off about a quarter of an inch just so that that'll sit nice and flush. Uh, next thing we're going to do is line up the jig head alongside the bait. So I always do this when rigging the jig head. That way you can see where the hook should be coming out. So if you look at it sideways here, you can see roughly where the hook point should be coming out in the bait. And what's cool is that on the top of this bait and on top of most of our baits, we actually have uh, words. So it either says Lunker City or LunkerCity.com. And you can actually figure out exactly which letter the hook should come out at. So this is actually a little bit past the very last letter on the jig head. So that's where we'll bring it out. So first thing, just push it into the nose of the bait. Um, and before I actually start, I just want to say that the thumb and index finger is what I use to basically align that hook as I'm going down the bait to make sure that that hook stays center. The reason why it will end up being crooked is if you end up going too far to one side or the other. So I use my two fingers to kind of pinch it and make sure that it stays center as I go down the center of that bait. And if you feel that you are not center, you can just back it out a little bit and you can restart. So I'm going to push my way down the center of the bait and we'll see how this ends up. So again, if you feel it not quite center, back up a little bit and keep going. And I'm going to end up pushing it out just past the letters on the top of the bait. And what you should see and you should end up with is a nice straight uh, bait. And you can see sideways here, nice and straight. So not crooked. Uh, I'll just show you for the heck of it what typically may happen if you go too far to one side or the other, if you end up pushing it on there. And you'll see now it's kind of crooked or what may happen too is you don't bring it out, uh, you don't go down the bait enough, so now it's not far enough down the shank. Or sometimes if you go too far, then what may happen too is by the when you push the bait on, now it's sitting too far up the hook. So that is why lining it up ahead of time is such a key part of making sure that that bait ends up sitting horizontally and vertically correct. So. Let me just fix that and we will pop it out again, push that up and you should end up being nice and flat. So that's on the Forge Finesse. And the other example that I will use is a, let's get that into focus, a nine inch Sluggo. And for the video, I'm gonna be using a three quarter ounce Sluggo jig head. So same exact thing. Just to make it flush, I'm going to cut off a little bit of the head, not very much, just to give it a really nice flat end to it and line it up alongside of the bait. And as you can see, let me just make sure you get the light here so you can see the letters on the top of that bait. So it's right about the A in the word patent is where this hook should come out. So same thing going down the center of the bait using my thumb and index finger to make sure that it stays center the entire time. And if you feel that you're not center, just back it out a little bit and continue down the bait. So pushing it all the way down and right about the A in patent is where I'm gonna come out. You can then push that all the way up onto the head and we'll see where that ends up. So you'll actually, this is a good example where it looks straight vertically, However, horizontally, it's not quite flush, so flat. So what I'm gonna do, back that out, and we're gonna try one more time. So going down the center of the bait, and 
And once I hit the A, I'm going to push that out and push this bait all the way up. And that is much better. Now it is nice and flat horizontally, nice and straight vertically. And that is going to fish very nicely because it is not crooked at all. So that is the four inch finesse fish, nine inch sluggo, and a few different uh, options and ways of showing you how to properly rig a bait on a jig head.